Hello Java enthusiasts, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss about toString method in Java. ToString method is present in object class. By the end of this session, we'll uncover how ToString method can transform object representations. So let's get started. Java's ToString method, it's not just any ordinary method. You know, it's your ticket to convert object states into meaningful strings. By default, ToString method returns class name concatenated with at the rate symbol and hexadecimal string representation of object's hash code. But why settle for defaults? We can override ToString method and craft our custom representations tailored to our needs. So let's try to see an example. Okay, right now I'm having a class. Now in this class, I'm going to take main method. Just let me try to take this main method. Inside this main method, I'm going to create an object new. Just let me try to go with new class A. Equal to, I'm giving a reference. A O B G belongs to class A. Now, if I'm trying to print my object, like uh, just let me try to go with A O B J. Now, let me just try to show it out. But now it is going to internally call to string method. So just for confirmation, I'm going to write system dot out dot print and A O B J dot to string method. Now let's see, we will be getting exactly the same output. So to string method is going to give you the class name concatenated with at the rate symbol and some hexa integer value. So you know like this kind of representation is not fully used for a lot of objects. So we can override the two string method. So just for example, I'm going to override the two string method. Just let me try to generate the two string method. Okay. And now here, simply I'm going to write just a small statement. Java is awesome. I'm just trying to write like this. Now here I'm overriding the toString method as object class is a parent class for all the classes. ToString method is present in object class. So yeah, we can override that. And now if we execute our program, you know, instead of getting this representation of an object, we will be getting our own data, which we have given. Let me just try to show you this as simple as it is. So we can override the toString method according to our requirements. So, from debugging to logging, toString does it all, offering clear insights to your code. So, next time, whenever you are debugging, remember the power of toString. And yes, it's your secret weapon. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, like, share, and subscribe for more similar such content. Until next episode, happy coding.